Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 274. Bacterial endocarditis. What are some of the symptoms of bacterial endocarditis? The symptoms of bacterial endocarditis include fever, which is the most common symptom. There is also rot spots, which are round white spots on the retina surrounded by hemorrhage. So these are the rot spots. Along with that, there is also Osler's node, which are tender raised lesions on finger and toe pads. There is also a murmur that can be heard in bacterial endocarditis. Janeway lesions, which are small, painless erythromatous lesions on the palms and the sole. There is also anemia, and there are splinter hemorrhages on the nail beds. What is the mnemonics to help you remember all the symptoms of bacterial endocarditis? The mnemonics to help you remember all the symptoms is just remember bacteria from Jane. The most important thing about this mnemonics is to remember that from Jane part. The F stands for fever, the R stands for rot spots, O stands for Osler's node, M stands for the new murmur, J stands for the Janeway lesions, A stands for anemia, N stands for nail bed hemorrhage, and E stands for emboli. What is the most common valve to be involved in bacterial endocarditis? The valve to be involved most commonly in bacterial endocarditis is the mitral valve. What group of people are more likely to be affected with the tricuspid valve endocarditis? The group of people that are more likely to have tricuspid valve endocarditis is IV drug abusers. What is the mnemonics to help you remember that tricuspid valve are associated with drug abusers? The mnemonics to help you remember this is just remember don't try drugs. The try for tricuspid valve and drugs, uh, just to help you remember, that uh, tricuspid valve endocarditis happens more commonly in IV drug users. What infections will lead to tricuspid valve endocarditis in IV drug abusers? Tricuspid valve endocarditis in IV drug abusers can happen due to Staph aureus, Pseudomonas, and Candida. What are some of the complications that can arise from bacterial endocarditis? Some of the complications is chordae rupture can happen, glomerulonephritis, suppurative pericarditis, and an emboli can form. How do you diagnose bacterial endocarditis? Bacterial endocarditis can be diagnosed after multiple blood cultures. What bacteria most commonly causes acute bacterial endocarditis? Acute bacterial endocarditis is caused by Staph aureus and it has a high virulence. One additional note about acute bacterial endocarditis is that there would be large vegetations on a previously normal valve as well as this has a rapid onset. What bacteria most commonly causes subacute bacterial endocarditis? The bacteria to cause subacute bacterial endocarditis are the virident streptococci that have a low virulence. Describe the type of vegetations as well as the onset of subacute bacterial endocarditis. In subacute bacterial endocarditis, there are smaller vegetations on a congenitally abnormal or diseased valve. This can happen in a patient after a dental procedure and it's a more insidious onset. What are some of the non-bacterial causes of endocarditis? Some of the non-bacterial causes of endocarditis are malignancies, hypercoagulable state can also lead to endocarditis, and in lupus it can happen. What is the cause of endocarditis in patients with colon cancer? In patients with colon cancer, the reason they would get endocarditis is due to strep bovis. What is the cause of endocarditis in patients with prosthetic valve? The reason for endocarditis in patients with prosthetic valve is strep epidermidis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.